Print and cut hair main bow pea pattern. Line it up on the fabric lengthwise and cut. Now remove the pins. Print and cut the hair bow tails Q pattern. This pattern gets cut on the bias, so line it up at 45 degrees and you can use the squares as a guide to do this. Pin to the fabric and cut. Print and cut hair centre tie R pattern. Pin this to the fabric and cut. Now you have all three pieces for the hair bow. To make the fabric less transparent and to be a bit stiffer, cut the same pattern out of the white cotton interfacing. You can see for the tails of the bow, I have also lined it up on the bias of this fabric. Trim the interfacing width about 1 8th of an inch. Pin the interfacing to the main hair bow flush on each side. Removing some of the interfacing width means that when it's folded over, it's less likely to bunch up. Now we're going to fold it over right sides together. Pin both sides of the fabric flush where they meet. Now we're going to sew a straight stitch 3 8 of an inch in from the edge of the main bow. Trim the excess fabric. You can finish the edges by taking an overlock foot and running a zigzag stitch along the edge. Fold the hair bow so that the seam is at the back. You can double check it's in the middle by measuring and then adding pins. Close one side of the hair bow at 3 8 of an inch from the edge. Now move to the other side and you're going to sew halfway down one side and stop. This will leave half of one of the sides to enable us to turn it. Remember to also finish the edges off with an overlock stitch. So now we've got one side closed and on the other side we've got half of it closed. So we're going to take this little opening here and turn it inside out. I used the little wooden stick that came with my turning tube to poke out the ends. So we've still got an open end here, all we're going to do is fold it in on itself, add a pin, fold the hair bow so that the seam is on the outside. Now sew both sides together using a 2.5mm straight stitch, 3 8 of an inch from the edge. Press the main bow flat. Fold the tail pattern over, keeping in mind that the interfacing is 1 8 of an inch thinner than the gingham, just like before. Add a pin to mark where the centre line is. Now sew the tails of the bow by running a 2.5mm straight stitch, 3 8 of an inch from the edge. You're going to stop just before you get to the middle of the bow tails. Now leave a gap and start your stitching again, going from the centre to the very end of the tail. Now you've got two rows of threads with a gap in the middle and you're going to use that to turn this inside out. Remember to trim and finish your edges first. Again, I use a little wooden stick to poke out the edges. Fold over the fabric that's in the centre where the gap is and you're going to top stitch right over that to close. Press the tails flat. Take the centre tie and pin right sides together. Run a straight stitch 2.5mm from the edge at 3 8 of an inch. Trim excess seam allowance and finish the edge with a zigzag stitch. Fold with the seam at the back and close one end with a 2.5mm stitch. Now turn it inside out, you might need a turning tube to help with this. Now that it's turned, I can put it around the main bow and you can see that this is how it's going to look roughly. So first I finish the raw edges of the tie by running a zigzag stitch at the end. Press the centre tie flat. Now we can assemble these three pieces. At this point, you need to ask yourself how you're connecting this bow to your hair or to your wig. I used a barrette. If you're using a barrette, you need to put this in before you add the centre tie around the bow. I actually had to disassemble my bow as I never realised I should put the barrette in first. The first thing we want to do is shape the bow. So temporarily, I wrap a bit of elastic around the middle while I find the shape that I want. Get another bit of elastic and put it on the other side. You can see that once a tie is added, it should be compressed like this on both sides. I measure and place a pin in the centre and just make sure the pieces of elastic are at exactly the same place from the centre. I want them wide enough so they're just outside the tie. Once happy with that, trim any extra bits of elastic off because we don't want them getting in the way. Now I place the tie around the middle and I want to see exactly where it starts and ends so that the end of the tie lies in the centre of the back. So it should end up about here, so I want to start wherever that tie starts, which is where the pin is at the top. 
I add hot glue to the tie first. Now this is where the tie is going to start. Don't put hot glue near the edges, just in the, near the centre of the tie. It does spread when you press it. So I glue that at my starting point. I now add glue to the rest of the bow in the centre of the tie. And I've slowly just wrapped the tie around the bow. And I know this tie is going to end up in the centre, like what I'd planned. Once the glue has set, cut the elastic off and that's your guides removed and you've got your bow. Now we want to compress these tails, so find the centre first, add some pins, make sure they're in the middle, then take a needle and thread and hand sew some stitches along the middle. Pull the threads and it will compress the tails in the centre. Now take the excess thread and wrap it around the middle. This will help compress that section. You can then knot both sides of the thread together and cut the excess. Now we have the tails ready to glue on. Just as a note, if you find them spreading a lot to the side, you can just add a couple of hand stitches just to help guide them to where you want them to be. Once you've added the stitches, just hand knot it together. Add some glue to the back of the bow, take the tails, put a little bit of glue on that also, glue to the bottom of the bow and hold. Now that that's set, you have your bow. Remember to like and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Oh,